Okay guys, so let's try this problem now. This again is a problem dealing with Charles Law, okay? Volume and temperature. So this problem says a 2.5 liter sample of gas at 25 degrees Celsius at constant pressure is doubled in volume. What is the final temperature? Okay, so the initial volume is going to be 2.5 liters. The final volume, we know because it says it's doubled in volume, okay? So that means the final volume is going to be 5.0 liters. Okay? The initial temperature, we also know, 25 degrees Celsius. But remember, we have to use Kelvin, uh, the Kelvin temperature scale for this. So we're going to have to add 273 to that. So that's going to equal 298 Kelvin. So the final temperature is what we're wondering about. Okay? So now we remember Charles Law. Now we remember Charles Law. Volume initial over temperature initial equals volume final over temperature final. Okay, so we want the final temperature. So we're going to have to get this variable on this side of the equation by itself. Okay, or on this side of the equation. What we can do with these equations is just invert them. Okay, so we can take this and put final temperature over final volume if we do the same to the other side. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. So we're going to have initial temperature now over initial volume times final temperature over final volume. Okay. So you guys see we've just inverted both sides. Let's erase this now. Okay. And let's try to get temperature final by itself. So the first thing we have to do is multiply both sides by a final volume. If we do it on that side, it cancels out. So we've got like that. Okay, so this is our new equation. Okay. So let's just erase here. final temperature there, and then just plug in our numbers, okay? So the final volume here is going to be 5.0 liters. The initial temperature is going to be 298 Kelvin divided by uh, the initial volume, which is 2.5 liters. And if we multiply and divide those numbers, we should get the right answer. 5 times 298 divided by 2.5, which is 596 Kelvin. Of course, in this problem, we only have two significant figures, so we're going to have to do something to this answer. So it's going to be 5 point, or 6.0, sorry, 6.0 times 10 squared, 1, 2, Kelvin will be the final answer for this problem.